Hey everyone, it's Flackfire. Both Battlefield Hardline and Battlefield 4 received night maps post-launch, so is it in the cards for Battlefield 1? It might be, and it might be here sooner than you think. Giant Shadow, Battlefield 1's first free map, is due out sometime this month. It's set during the Battle of the Cell in fall of 1918. Large-scale nighttime engagements became more common during World War I, and the attack that began the Battle of the Cell took place at night. To be clear, I don't really think Giant Shadow will be a night map. The battle lasted for several days, but it does raise interesting questions as to what a night map would look like in Battlefield 1 and if we'll actually see any. Unlike in Battlefield Hardline and Battlefield 4, night vision didn't exist in World War I. Soldiers had to rely on the moonlight, flares, star shells, spotlights, and tracer rounds. We've been able to glimpse some of this in Battlefield 1's campaign. In Friends in High Places, Blackburn crawls through no man's land, avoiding spotlights, machine gun fire, and artillery. In Nothing is Written, Zara fights the Ottoman Empire at night on what is essentially Sinai Desert. Most previous nighttime battlefield maps were based off of existing maps. For example, Battlefield 4 had Zavid's Graveyard Shift, while Hardline featured an After Dark version of Bank Job. Both of these maps were free, and I know many people enjoyed this kind of night combat, myself included. If Battlefield 1 follows the same route as its predecessors, it's likely we will see night combat. But will we see a nighttime version of an existing map or a completely new map set at night? The answer is probably both. We already know significant work has been done to make Sinai Desert optimized for night fighting in the campaign. The same goes for Blackburn's harrowing journey through No Man's Land, which might have inspired the St. Quentin Scar map. Additionally, Battlefield 1's engine, Frostbite 3, already supports a day and night cycle, making it that much easier to develop night maps. Converting existing maps from day to night also saves development time. Battlefield Hardline, meanwhile, did actually get a map designed from the ground up as a night map in Cemetery, which means we might see a map designed for night combat from the get-go in Battlefield 1. If that were the case, I'd really like to see something that suits trench raiding. Many trench raids were conducted at night with the goal of destroying important objectives or capturing vital information. The closest thing we've seen to this is the part of the campaign set in No Man's Land from Friends in High Places where you actually see German trench raiders. In multiplayer, players would have to capture objectives in No Man's Land, watching out for spotlights. This type of map would also work well with Rush, with attackers trying to maneuver undetected through No Man's Land. With a nighttime map, the airship could finally make proper use of the night raid camo included with some pre-orders, and the flash version of the flare gun might be useful to illuminate parts of the battlefield. Hopefully we'll get more details and potential night maps in the future. Battlefield 1's first proper expansion is of course due out March 2017. But what are your thoughts? Would you even like night combat in Battlefield 1? What current map would you like to see reworked as a night map? Tell me in the comments. If you want to learn more about night combat and trench raids during World War I, check out the links in the video description. They'll take you to a couple great videos from the Great War YouTube channel. They do great work and even answered a question from me on one of my favorite topics. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like, share on websites like Facebook and Twitter, and of course, subscribe. Thanks for watching.